Someone got a new door. All right. Someone got the metal. That would be me. Is that metal? Yeah. Two of them. All right. Good stuff. Aluminum, too. Here's an example of how I miss stuff. Do you see anything right here? Do you see anything in front of you? I don't see anything. I don't, oh, I think I see something now. <laughs> Hello, washer. How art thou? Roper? Remember Mr. Roper? I always liked Mrs. Roper, <laughs> especially when Mr. Roper would do something really dumb. Yeah, and that look. All right, let's get rid of that. <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid, my parents wouldn't let me watch um, Three's Company. And uh, yeah, but I would watch it anyway. stronger left or right <laughs> I'm thinking left okay y'all been telling me to do this for years put the scrap in the appliances Paul okay Uh-oh, garbage man's here. Rat row. Better hurry up. <clears throat> Go get that grill over there. No time to waste. That always gets me rolling. Good morning. Hey, Mr. Scrappy has not been here. I'm not pulling these off because it makes it lighter to get into the vehicle.
blows? It does. The lady says it works. What is that, a magnet? Oh, I wonder if it's stainless steel. It's metal enough. It's a good cord too. Another grill. This one might be an aluminum top grill. Yeah. Can almost guarantee it. Yeah, I can guarantee it. That's aluminum. That one's not going into the shred pile. Nope. Huh. A direct TV dish. Why would they throw this away? Can you sense my biting sarcasm? Because people are watching TV through the internet and watching YouTube. Can you watch YouTube through a direct TV? I doubt it. Not quite sure what to do with this yet. So I'm gonna stay right there. Scrap that I'm not quite sure what to do with yet. Let's get this valuable guy. This is probably a couple bucks in aluminum. I should do an aluminum run today. Yeah. Uh oh. The nemesis, the eater, oh scrap. Ooh, that's aluminum. That's my guess. Yeah, keep on going, he knows not to turn. <laughs> Do I really wanna pick up some helium steel right now? Hmm, scrapyards aren't open for another hour. Let's see, the last piece of scrap is this. Yeah, let's get the magnet and check it out. So my guess, aluminum top and this aluminum sheet. Yep, so that's aluminum sheet, aluminum top. That's right. That's good. Not, it's magnetic means it's just regular old steel. That stainless steel has a lot of carbon that they put into, and, and nickel and things like that, that they put into the steel. And what else? Chromium? I think, no, I'm sorry, not nickel, because nickel is actually magnetic. Um, it's one of those ferromagnetic metals. But it's, uh, yeah, I think it's chromium and a bunch of carbon. Basically, charcoal put into the mix of steel. I know it's more complex than that. All right, guys, you get in my truck. That was easy. Yeah. All right, let's pack the rest of the stuff in there. Let's find a spot for it all. You're always a bit awkward. Hey, that worked. Does that say direct V? 
Yeah, direct V. Oh, huh. that's why it didn't work. They couldn't spell. This would not be good for the lawnmower. Definitely not. Helium, where does it go? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna do some knot tying 101. So this is how you tie a proper knot, okay? Pull it underneath, and that's how you do a knot. They look aluminum, but you know what? They don't. I can tell with that bar down there, they're not going to be able to stack. Nope. They can't stack. <sighs> All right. How are we going to do this? Hmm. One. These are definitely Illuminati. Two. <laughs> That's good enough. They're not going to go anywhere. You know, I was just kidding about that. It's not tied down. Definitely tying this down. Really? All right, there's a problem. So the scrapyard opens in 25 minutes. I am like one tenth done with the route. And I got a full truck. Small truck problems. Oh, look at that bicycle. It's all decked out with some flowers. I don't know why I'm still out here scrapping. Because I know I'm going to wind up finding three water heaters and a treadmill. Mm, yeah, let's get it. Uh oh, garbage man! in there <laughs> sorry you aren't going with me whoa you hear that oh yeah we got some music here sorry couldn't help myself What kind is it? It's a filter queen. Someone's gonna say that's worth a million dollars. That's aluminum. I almost tossed it. Wait a minute, you're pretty heavy. What's inside there? Oh. Where are you going? 
what's in that chest. Oh. Okay, this isn't working out so well. Can you fit there? Yay! What's in the chest? up at the scrapyard. It's usually not cool to do that. That's an interesting chest. You see the hinge is on the top versus on the back here when it opens up. You got yourself a whole bunch of mold. Not in bad shape. Not moldy. It's decent. Is there a name on it or an age? Interesting. But that's hurt a few kids. Ow, mom! do a test. If it's steel, it stays. Oh no. Oh yeah, that's steel. But that part's not. That's steel. That's steel. Okay. Someone finally told me what cartoon that was. It's Marvin the Martian. With my modulator. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, I definitely need a modulator right now. Is it getting hot out here? Or is it just me? <laughs> Come on. All right, let's tie it down. Let's get rolling. You know what? I just figured out what this thing is. It's for helping me tie knots. Yes. <clears throat> All right, you ready? The goal is to throw it through that loop and get to the other side of the truck. Ready? Totally worked. Oh. Uh oh, here comes the garbage man. <clears throat> All right. You know what? Good, good tug. A couple of turns. What is this? See a little bit of metal. Whole bunch of nothing. Let's get it. And with the garbage bin literally right around the corner, there's zero chance that someone's gonna say, hey, that was some good stuff, Paul, that you cut the cords on. No, it's not. But this USB cable's good, I'll bet. USB, no, it's a HDMI. I'm sorry. HDMI. Whoa, is that a cash register? No. What is that thing? The jillion buttons on it. Mine. Sort of. 
cash? I can already hear cash in there. There's money in that. stuff hmm probably work whole bunch of wrapping paper Dish Network and e-waste folks would have a field day. Paper. Why do I want this? I don't know why, but I'm taking it. Artsy stuff, that's why. <laughs> and make art with it. Sure, there's plenty of room. Oh, I hear a dog. Is that a rotor? Like, big rotor? Oh, wow, thank you very much. Yeah, that's two bucks right there. Heavy cast. Where is this going to go? Hmm. Right there. Oh, yes. It's just fine. Bicycle. Bicycle. Let's get it. That thing's rusted up. What are you? Roadmaster. Walmart special. Hi, Rufus. <clears throat> Bruh. Where are you going? Holy moly. Alright, that's just getting silly. Someone was telling me that a floor scrapper straightens up the wheels. I never saw him do it in a video, but someone said he does. So let's try it. Too far here. <laughs> Maybe the other side. Just kidding. <laughs> but I was pulling on this rope and boink, it just broke. So, so I guess the nylon stuff is the way to go. Today, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Hi, Rufus. <laughs> Have a good morning. All right, it's all tied up. As long as I don't find a treadmill, we'll be fine. That Volkswagen. I told you a while back, I used to really be into Volkswagens. That's a, that's a Super Beetle too. 
You see the grill on the bottom? Are you kidding me? All right, let's just pretend we didn't see this, okay? These are not the droids you're looking for. Hmm. I wonder if this will work. Full truck, I'm coming back to get this. Boy, scrap and pallet man car right here. Think that'll work? I hope so. Man, all this scrap is making me hot. Oh, no way. Oh, great. I got a straight jacket now. I mean, quite literally. I can't get out. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> Dumpster Marcus. Whoop. I would totally pull me over. Definitely. No clue how much this is going to weigh. What do you think? 45 even? 4,500 pounds loaded? It'd be awesome if it was. 4,480. Oh, it's so close. Registration's still good. That's what I call a load. And it's only 8.30 in the morning. So, yeah, so let me get this offloaded. I'm not really sure where to put the camera. Wow, look at all these auto parts down here. Woo. That's a lot of auto cast. Yep, it actually pays differently. Surprise us in the shred pile. Specialty tool with this one. Maybe. Let's see what's in there. Oh, it's just the bottom of the lock. I thought it was money. Let's see if that did anything. The, that's the owners right there. The new owners on the left, the old owners on the right. What is that down there? Hey, there is money there. Quarters? Yes. Three of them. Here's some more. <sighs> All right. 
three Farkles. <laughs> That's good. That's aluminum, I'm keeping that. Now here, I don't know if they pay more for rotors at this scrapyard. I rarely pay, or rarely uh, take um, my non-fares here, but I have been taking my wire here. They pay really well, 32 cents pound for wire which is definitely the best in town ha. wait a minute did I have the keys the whole time maybe I already beat it up so Or that's floating around here. There's, a, there's one. There's another one. Huh. What do you guys do? Just pound it right there. I don't want to make too much racket and noise because the owners are right there. I mean, they're cool. They let me film here. an awesome viewer mama j send me a new knife uh, thanks This rope totally broke. So, it's garbage. All right, so I kept this aluminum. Um, I only got the top piece of that aluminum off. the scale so they know the shred price the shred steel and then I'm gonna back up over there to the non ferrous side and sell this aluminum and I see 
Sandra. I got that shred steel and then a ticket. Coffee. That's awesome. Having your coffee here, it distracts the customer from standing there staring at you. <laughs> coffee before claims? I have an idea. Let's do praise before prices. God, you are good. Thank you, Lord. I just want to praise you and recognize you in everything that happens. God, you, you, you rescued me from just that darkness of addiction. And you'll do it for anybody. God, let's, let's, let us just look to you to remove those addictions. In the name of Jesus. Amen. These prices, yeah. So I got four cents a pound for the uh, for the scrap steel. So that was five hundred pounds at four cents a pound, which was twenty bucks. Bing. And then the aluminum breakage uh, is what I got for those chairs, eighteen cents a pound, um, so which was five dollars and seventy six cents. Bing bing. And then two dollars and sixteen cents for that cast aluminum, which was twenty seven cents a pound uh, at uh, eight pounds so basically two dollars for that cast yeah oh then i got 28 cents for that piece of sheet aluminum you remember that long piece of aluminum that i found yeah so that was, that was 28 cents right there so and a total of 28 dollars and 20 cents mm, that's good stuff so now it's time to go get that uh treadmill mm. all right so the way back from the scrapyard I was super fast picked up these things but yeah the treadmill's still here that's awesome uh, there's also another scrapper running around in a white van with a trailer yeah right there you go <laughs> yeah so they're running around in a in a trailer so they can pretty much grab whatever they want i'm not sure what they're picking for that's the cool thing about people that are scrappers. I know that some pickers, scrappers, um, they think that everyone's competition, but uh, you know, there are uh, a lot of folks are not picking the same things. So, All right, I need to make some room here. Okay, made a little room here. You are a beast, aren't you? Are you going to roll in the grass very easily? Nordic track, huh? After thinking about this, if I do get this on here, and that part weighs way more, not only am I gonna have to pick it up, but I'm gonna have to, it's gonna have to get past that lip, so I'm gonna have to pick it up even higher. Is there a way I can get the heavy side on top without it being all precarious right here in my truck? And yeah, so I think I'm gonna try to flip it over out here and then put it in the truck.
Okay, three packed. <laughs> you think that's too tall? I think it might be. It's kind of tucked in there, but I'm gonna wrap it up a bit. <laughs> really. That's the second time I've seen him. You'd think he'd pull me over by now. I'd pull me over. <laughs> oh boy. That was a workout. Definitely. <laughs> That's a lot of satellite dish. Get to work. It's all tangled up. Oh, it's not tangled up. We're good. Man, it got windy. What's up with that? of this thing really hmm. all right so I'm guessing that piece you know, like poke down in there what do you think let's try it man it's windy it's gonna catch air yep this one's a lot heavier like I thought. <laughs> I could use the own, its own wire to tie it up. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. With the weather, but it certainly changed. What's that a battery for? Back and dagger. Hmm. Maybe I'll grab it. Definitely won't grab this. That's metal enough. That's old school right there. That thing has shoveled many a winter. work. Bed frames. Right. I just now realized that when I was tying up those satellite dishes that I could have just used the extra that I had here and tying this guy up. Come on, Paul. Uh-oh, someone's calling me. Who's calling me? Cycle, dude. To answer a call, push your hands for... <laughs> you are on YouTube right now, my brother. Oh, hello, uh, Captain Palomay, how's it going? <laughs> Yep, yep. This 
This one might be stainless. Maybe. Stick, stick, stick. None of them are stainless. Scrap. What is this thing? Rust it up. It's been outside a lot. Probably take some work to get it going again, but it... oh. yeah. So the it doesn't even work forward or backward. Oh yeah, all the bearings are wrapped and shot out of it. Where's it going? Hmm. Bolt it on the outside again. <laughs> Straighten up or unstraighten these. Yeah. That works out really well. Thanks, whoever gave me that idea. Oh, that works out really well. Is there a chance? It's aluminum? No. It's rust. Pretty nice. Just in case I need it later. Escape. I don't think so. Gloves. Oh, nope. No, thank you. I can't believe you put that in their lawn. No. It's just water. Yicky water, but it's just water. Last thing I want is this to get undone. I was driving the other day and there was a piece of rope just kind of dangling. Now I'm thinking, if I ran over that piece of rope, I don't know what kind of atomic explosion would happen, but I'm just picturing complete catastrophe of the car being ripped in half. Man, it has been a good morning. Seriously. Yeah. Hmm. Should I go back there with it? I think so. Is this a pinch matic It is. Be careful with that. When I was a kid, our little kitchen table was called a dinette set. And had chairs like this. Yep. Those steel chairs. How about right there, if I can. Yeah. Good. Sup?
<laughs> I'll see you all tomorrow. All right, man. No idea who that is. <laughs> Start screaming, scrap it, Fallon Man! Hello. Hi, How are you? Good, thank you. You're welcome. Lunchtime. Not the best for me, but you know what? I'm hungry and I'm ready to eat. That's for sure. So, that guy that was just like right there, he comes into 7-Eleven, says, hey, Paul, introduced himself and um, he says, I have like 600 pounds of tire chains. He's like, I tried to sell them. I couldn't get, couldn't sell them. I've, I've moved them. And uh, yeah. So that's the cool thing is that we get to meet people doing this stuff. So if you haven't started a YouTube channel, I would recommend it. You know, it, it, is it tough? Yeah, it, it has its own, it's its own world, but it's good. Um, scrapping it's good. It's recycling. I know it's not always repurposing, but you know what? This metal is going to get repurposed into something else. So it kind of is being repurposed. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hmm. All right. Let's see how much we weigh. Let me see. 4,440. That's my guess. Um, 4,460. Is it going to bounce down? Oh, off by 20. They have really cleaned up this scrap yard. Big time. All right, I'm going to back in right there. I guess I still had a lot of room left. Yeah, not sure what I was thinking. Should be out there heating the scrap. Guessing 30, was it 3940? And we have 3920, 3940. I don't know if it caught uh, this dump trailer or dump truck over here, this F550, but that is the way to dump. And he was in and out so fast. Yeah, but yeah, he missed out on all the exercise. Trying to spin it some way. Twenty dollars and eighty cents for five hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah. So at four cents, should I do some more scrap or copy? About a half a cup. All right.
right, so it is noon. Yeah, so I think I'm done for the day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah. I was thinking about this earlier, that if if you're considering doing some scrapping, I would I would encourage it. Because you can work as much as you want or as little as you want. I got uh, I had to tell some people the other day that I just don't I'm like overwhelmed with scrap right now, especially the non-ferris at my house. You know, in almost every video I'm like, oh yeah, well I'm gonna keep this piece of aluminum, I'm gonna keep this whatever. I have a lot of aluminum at the house. So I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I was talking with the owner in here, the new owner, Michael, and uh, he's like, dude, we want your aluminum. He's like, let me know, we'll, we'll work out a, a good price for you. So I was talking with him about it and what other scrap yards would pay, and he's totally gonna pay me more for my hoard. <laughs> that, that's just really cool stuff. Sorry, video's not over. Just got a text from the G-Man, my garbage man buddy. He said there's some scrap on the curb. I said, mm-hmm, on my way. Because I just had some scrapper coffee. And I need to go scrapping. Ah. Hi, Rufus. Oh. Hi. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, actually, the, um, the garbage man sent me a text. Says, hey, I got some scrap for you. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna call it a day.